I'll do guys and if you live in the UK today you will know that it is absolutely roasting red hot so I thought I'd come up and get some of my allotment done because as the weather just deteriorates so does the allotment but when the weather's nice there's no excuse but as it's an allotment and I have a tiny truck um, there's plenty of room to have a bit of fun while I'm here as well so it's early in the morning got a fire roaring over there and I also brought some different like wheel weights to what I added to lay on as depot these are more like a brake disc looking wheel weight with an X hub so I presume they are going to extend the wheel hub slightly as well so it literally is just a case of taking the wheels off and swapping the hubs over and then bolting the wheels back on but before we do this, uh, we'll do a little before and after test. Like I say, I've got a fire roaring over there and I have built a little track around the fire and stuff also. So I'll quickly go over the track with you. We'll start here at the little table and we'll make our way down the grass into the crappy half of the allotment at the minute. And we'll board this plank here. Whee! And we're going to go up this rock onto that rock up another rock across that plank which is only just wide enough to fit the truck um, that's if the truck gets that far we out just melt into a blob we might just need to let the fire die down a bit because it is getting roasting here um, up onto the fire bin in the corner there onto that breeze block and then it goes up that little plank across the pallet down the little bendy bridge Whee! And then we come off there over some little obstacles, obstacles <laughs> across the hammer, through the saw, down the little ramp, and back to the finish line. I am uh, putting a pond in here, by the way. So it all seems like it's going to be a bit plain sailing. So, like I say, we'll just let the fire die off a smidge, um, let some of that heat go. And then we'll give this a little test without and with. Uh, there's a big frog. He moved into my allotment. We found him this morning. So I think he's aware that I've got a pond being built and he's got his first name down on the housing list. But yeah, he's a cool little dude. Seems happy. He was camera shy earlier. down a bit but these woods they're piping hot the problem is we're going to melt the tyres straight off the wheels so give it a few more minutes and then we'll just go over a bit the jeep sets on fire it sets on fire it's all fun <laughs> do it around the fire pit he said Just shoveled it up that way a smidge so if you are following my scx 24s um you'll know that the only upgrade i've done to this so far is those inner wheel fenders and leona's has turned up for hers too so it's slightly different so we'll do that in another video but yeah before i had the wheel weights as far as let you know that's the only thing i've done different so far just going to be a slow thing a little thing every now and again and just build it up that way and as things break i'm presuming this servo is not going to hold up much longer especially with the added weight but i don't know we'll see but we've got some uh, metal geared high torque ones on the way for them just in case so at the moment i haven't got um gopro mount or anything stuck onto this yet so i can't like drive around and film while i'm doing it uh, so I am going to have to move the camera around, but I won't cut up the video, so you can see I'm not cheating in any way. Um, we're just going to roll with it anyway, it should be cool in a bit. Shuffled the fire up a smidge, like I said. So, let's test them out. Well, 
not test them yet but we'll do a run without this is just with the inner arches and then we'll add the wheel weight and then see how we go <laughs> I'm going to cheat here guys, clearly can't get up that and oh damn I should have really like brought this with me when I actually built the course for an idea of a size it's way smaller than you think I think I had a, another couple of little stones in there. I am cooking here, by the way. Um, another one, maybe. Let's that back wheel down there. Just sketchy doing this one-handed. I probably am going to put the GoPro down somewhere where we can see this. I don't even know why I said GoPro. You're on my phone at the moment. Come on, come on, you a jeep. Oh, wait, we're up, but we're not up there. Oh. Starting to see why these things may need modifying. Right, I'll give this a helping hand. Nobody saw that. Uh, oh, this is a sketchy bit. Please don't burn your tires. The wasp or something comes now. You're a jeep. One, you're a jeep. I'm gonna have to help it. Bear in mind, this is a test on seeing how we're improving the vehicle. So, oh, now my left to weed it way. One, crunchy over. One handed with a small truck. Meow. Down the side of the pallet. Oh. I reckon the tyre should have some better grip now, anyway, with that heat. Didn't mean to drop it there, getting a bit carried away. Now down Bendy Bridge. This way it can break another limb, maybe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go on, go on, go on. the saw and across the line absolutely roasting around that fire in this baking heat but it survived <laughs> did need a little assistance but uh, let's see if these wheel weights make any difference. So I have brought my scales along so we can just see what weight we're adding. Now, I'm only going to do one wheel because all four are the same. So if you can do one, you can do four. If you can do four, you can do 12 trucks. 
That's 48, by the way. So, four mil, nut driver, and let's take one off. Lose them. So they do come with the replacement pins. So we'll quickly weigh these. We now have 6.62 grams approximately per corner. Because it could give or take like by the slightest for each one. So call it 6.6 .6 a wheel. A fresh drive pin, they are slightly longer. They're just gonna slot over there like so. so wheel, a little imitation brake disc weight. It's listed as copper, so I don't know if it's copper or brass, but it's still a little weight. And you just want to tighten your wheel nut back up. And then just repeat that for the other three. Also, looking to how far the nut now winds on the wheel, on the thread, they have acted as like a spacer. So we do have a slightly wider track width as well. It's kind of a bonus, really. So I'll finish these three, and then we'll zip this around the course. Shouldn't be as sketchy now. So I've got a measuring thing here. And this is approximately like 97 mil wide as standard. Now with these hubma bobs, we now have approximately, I can uh, confirm this via the box, 101 mil. So we gained an extra like 4 mil width. Now you can see it gives like a brake disc effect. That's quite a nice little touch. You can barely see him through the wheels, but you can. Which is kind of cool, really. So, the mighty Jeep. You can see the slight little stance now with the extra couple of mil. I know, I said hands free. I am one handed and nowhere really to put my phone. Damn. The tyres, innit, guys? The tyres. Don't do this at woods. Right. Tyres is something I do want to look at upgrading wheels and tyres at some point anyway. And then damn shocks. whip now let me just back that wheel back up yeah Ooh. Ooh. how we're looking mm, very just shouldn't be as hot so I can go a little bit slower do that last time it did not do that so that is an improvement oh it's warm here oh, up over the fire pit I've just been round it oh the little weed that should be there not a weed plant just a weed 
more. Over the pallet. Wee! I fell off here last time, got giddy. Ah, as we approach the bendy bridge. Again, that bit's only narrow, so. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're on, we're on. Ah, move it off again. Remember last time the approach angle wasn't too clever, I didn't need to come on it quite with some lock to get the tire to. There we go. Oh. I seem to get up that a bit easier. And now I want to be coming over this way a bit. Hammer. Oh, get up over there, man. Mm. And across the line. <laughs> Love it. I know a bit of a pointless exercise. I think it might have been a bit of a pointless crawler trap, but kind of forget how small they are you start building up little obstacles and you automatically think 10th scale with like some of the inclines and things however it, it did prove to be more effective like coming off the first ramp and then around the wood over the fire pit onto the pallet and then there were the woods at the end as it come down Bendy Bridge it seemed to be more effective but the main thing is, it's fun. I just had a ton of fun with it. I'm glad it did set on fire, because I think I would be a bit gutted. But they are just an amazing, fun little truck. I don't keep bringing this up to the allotment while the weather's nice and I'm doing bits here. And then I might just uh, keep building little obstacles and stuff. I'm going to build a nice little test track. But yeah, if you've got an SCX24, then um, you know what I'm talking about. They just really are that fun. They, they're just a small truck, but look at the smile. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, drop me a subscription, ping the notification bell, and I shall catch you all in the next video. Ciao for now, guys. Do feel free to check out like a video or a playlist or something and again subscribe